Sarah here. I am going to be sharing a little bit of a different video with you guys today. So um, it's not going to be a video reviewing a hairpiece or how-to tips on how to alter um, alternative hair. But today's video is about me shaving my head and also uh, my husband's response to it and how I got to that point. So for those that are new here, just to give you a little background, um, I was diagnosed with um, polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS uh, many years ago, and that can cause hormones to be quite out of whack. Your testosterone is a lot higher than it should be for a woman. So um, on top of the hair loss, you also get like hair growth in places where you maybe don't want it or it shouldn't be like under your chin other places too so um it's been about 10 years since I started losing my hair so it was very slow and I'm going to show you guys some pictures um I just noticed some thinning in like my bang area with my hair being naturally wavy and curly I noticed it was quite thin when I would try to let it air dry and, and let it be natural um, I change styles and colors quite frequently to try to mask uh, the thinning in, in the front area. And then a couple years later, I would notice that the, the back was thinning quite a bit as well. So um, you can see in the pictures that was thinning and then it just gradually continued. And eventually I got to the point where I was literally just combing a part over to cover up essentially a bald spot and using a lot of hair fibers to um, to cover that bald pad. Finally, I stumbled upon um, hair toppers and I tried those out and it was like life changing to me because before I started wearing hair, I would think about whatever I was doing in my life, whether I was hanging out with friends and we were supposed to go to a pool or if I was going to be outside and it was going to be windy, I'm constantly thinking about how I'm going to camouflage my loss. Once I got the freedom of putting on a topper, which covered up that loss in the front, it gave me quite a bit of freedom. Um, so my loss continued to spread uh, on my head and it got to the point where I had to order extra large base toppers. So like ones that were like 10 inches by 10 inches because not only do I have hair loss, but I have a really large head too. So I needed something to cover that area. So toppers really worked for me for a period of time. And then I kind of switched to wigs. Having a larger head and being a little bit prone to headaches, that can be a challenge because you can get pressure headaches um, if your wig is too tight. And I would say a vast majority of wigs that I tried were too tight. And then I started to um, alter them to kind of fit me a little bit better. So I start off this video of kind of just showing you guys what my hair loss was really like. I was, again, putting it under wig caps and, you know, maybe trying to wear toppers to camouflage that loss. But I was always covering my hair. I never walked outside without a hat or um, a really thick like this kind of thick headband. Um, and I thought, you know, it's kind of depressing just to twist that hair up or tuck that hair under when it really wasn't much of hair anyway. So I'll let you guys take a look at my video.
this time I had just called my husband upstairs to help me even out the, um, the buzz cut and as you can tell I'm a little emotional. I think it was a mixture of concern about how he would feel once he saw me and also relief um, to be done away with that hair. <laughs> well, if you're going to cry, cry out happiness, because you're going to inspire another one. Okay, just to follow up on what you just saw, um, my husband is incredible. I am beyond blessed to have him, and I know that he's everything that I prayed for uh, in a man, and I got real specific with God, and I was like, I want you know, an honest man, a leader. I need someone who's patient because I require a lot of patience. Um, I need someone who's loving and he is all of those things and, and then more. I had talked with him about it in length, uh, about what my choice was and he supported me whether I decided to shave it uh, or keep it. And I think that really does make a difference. So I definitely give him credit for that. Um, but another part of it is really just learning that your identity is not in your physical appearance. So, of course, you want to be attractive and feel good about yourself. But there's kind of a piece that you have to learn when you're walking through this hair loss that your hair doesn't make you who you are. You know, your um, and I've said this before, your weight doesn't make you who you are. And I'm a big advocate of um internal beauty, you know, um, what does your heart show that you are? Because you can have a pretty face and beautiful hair all day, but if you got a stank attitude and you're nasty to people, eh, you need some work. So um, I just wanted to share this little piece of my journey with you guys. And I want to encourage any of you that are struggling with, you know, hair loss or um, maybe something else that would make you feel insecure to kind of seek out who you really are minus all of those things. So I hope you guys are blessed. I hope you have a great day and thank you so much for watching. Be sure to follow my Instagram. I will link it in the section below and don't forget to subscribe.